this is Lucy from greatart.co.uk and today I'm going to be showing you how to face paint a Union Jack, a very useful skill especially for this summer, there's going to be a lot of children at a lot of parties that are going to want their auntie uh, to face paint something onto them and this is a really really easy thing to do. I know it looks like a complicated flag but I'm going to show you a really easy way to remember how to draw it onto someone. Okay so what you're going to need obviously is face paints, red, white and blue. I'm using Snazaroo face paints. I absolutely love Snazaroo. I've been using them since I was a brownie guide leader. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is uh, maybe some toilet roll or some tissue paper to wipe off the bits you don't get quite right. And I've also got a little paintbrush and some water just in case I want to neaten up the edges. And the most important thing you're going to need, apart from the face paints, is a hairband. Because this is going to help keep all the hair out of your niece and nephew's face whilst you do the design on them. Okay, so the really easy way to remember how to do a Union Jack is to go red, white, red, white, blue. So starting with the red pencil, red pencil, and we're going to start with the thick cross that goes, the St George's cross, which goes uh, vertically and horizontally. So a nice thick line of red going horizontally and vertically. lovely okay there we go and then the next thing is white so what you're going to do with the white pencil now is to go around all of the edges of that red cross okay so almost around the edges as you can tell I don't worry too much of being incredibly neat I'm sure there's lots of videos on YouTube showing you how to do this absolutely perfectly. Uh, mine is not going to be one of them. Okay, so it's around the edges. Now I'm going to neaten this up a little bit after I've got the basic design on there. Okay, so red, white, red. This time with the red you're going to make the diagonal red cross. Now this has got to be thinner than that St George's cross, okay? So it goes just a brief light line diagonally each side like that then you get the white pencil again and you do exactly the same as we did with the St George's cross we're going to go around the edges of that diagonal cross you don't need that much white because remember that this is just a nice simple design okay there we go now what you might like to do at this point, depending on how wiggly and excited and moving your niece or nephew is getting, is you might choose to go back over those red lines again, now that you've got some of the white in place. I'm just going to do that, just because I like to make it a little bit neater. Okay, there we go. And then the final part, obviously, is going to be the blue. Now what you'll notice is there are eight triangles that are left, and you're going to fill those eight triangles with your blue face paint stick. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's a very basic way of doing it very quickly. Now I'm going to use my paintbrush and just neaten up the edges a little bit. I'm just going to dunk that in some water. Always make sure these things are clean. A lot of the time it can be better to use a paintbrush if you're, not, if you're doing a lot of children rather than the sticks on their own because obviously you've got to keep things clean and hygienic. So I'm just going to use this to neaten up the edges a little bit. I do like my uh, Union Jacks to look more like fireworks. And less like terribly neat flags. 
especially on children they're probably only going to last about five minutes anyway just add a little bit more white there so there we go hairband off and they can run off and enjoy the party with their union jack cheek and uh, I hope that helps you remember how to face paint the Union Jack. Like I said, remember, red, white, red, white, blue. Always do the blue last and always start with that St George's Cross. I hope that helps you have a really fantastic summer with your nieces and nephews.